Hey guys! <laughs> hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another video. I am King Kinsey. I call my subscribers Kingpin, so if you want to become a Kingpin, all you got to do is smash that subscribe button. It helps me out immensely and it is 100% free. Also, if you enjoy your stay here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up because liking videos shares videos. I am so geeked to talk to y'all because I haven't talked to y'all since... Actually, my, la my last post was a montage, so we didn't talk at all. <laughs> so it's been some months, and girl, I have been through it. I have been through it, technically speaking, in terms of technological issues. We'll get into that later. So today is Monday. I literally, y'all, I literally have my vanity light on because... You see the light behind me? How, what else am I going to do? How else are you going to be able to see me? Because as y'all know, the lighting in your girl's apartment is trash. I actually got this vanity for my birthday. It's super bright, which I love. And it has a charging station at the base, which I love. So I'm going to be filming videos right smack here. Anyway, speaking of birthdays, yesterday was my birthday, July 14th. Your girl is 40. 40 zero 40 i'm 40 i'm 40 i'm 40 years old i turned 40 i'm 40 I'm, and i'm so happy about it can't you tell is this is okay i woke up a 40 year old this morning i'm 40 when did this happen how did i get here when did it happen it happened yesterday <laughs> Unfortunately, it happened yesterday, Sunday. Today's Monday. I was born very late at night, like just before midnight, July 14th on a Saturday night. So technically yesterday, I didn't wake up a 40-year-old because I didn't turn 40 until later on that evening. So the 15th, today is the first day that I woke up a 40-year-old. And I feel so different. I'm lying. I just feel older and I'm not happy about it. Let's talk about it. I should have did this on my talk series. But anyway, I'm just reflecting. I'm just kind of like thinking about what was and what's to come. And, you know, just thinking about how fast time goes. And I'd be lying if I said, oh, I'm 40. I'm so happy. And blah, 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 blah. Like I would be straight fronting because your girl is shook real bad. Like, I'm just like, really? 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 I have to say, I am only a day in. And this is the hardest birthday I have ever had, y'all. Like, I... Ugh, I don't want to seem vain, but it's not... It's not really about vanity. It's not really about... As I'm sitting here at my vanity with, like... The camera's a mirror, mirror, vanity, mirror. Like, <laughs> as I sit in front of three fucking vanities, anyway. It's not vanity. It's just the feeling that your youth is behind you. And the reality of it is, is society treats you differently the older you get. Differently as in worse. <laughs> and that's just a fact. The older you get... Look how society treats their seniors. And I'm, okay, I am not going to use, I'm not going to talk about being a senior because I'm not a fucking senior yet. Shit. Shout out to the seniors. But each day, each year you get older and older and older. It just biologically, you know, mentally, emotionally, you feel closer to death. And youth has privilege. And you feel that slipping away. And it makes you sad. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I'm excited for the future. I can't wait. Reflecting on my life and all my choices, good and bad choices. Just, I'm excited for the future. I'm happy, but I'm like, bitch. You know, it just feels like, not only do you feel like you're closer to death, but you just feel like you're running out of time. Like, to do and experience the things that you want to do. You know, I have a lot that I still want to conquer in terms of my well-being. 
I'm very much, we've talked about this before, but I'm very much a perfectionist. Um, I'm still trying to obliterate that side of me because it only hinders me. Um, I feel like I've lived most of my life in fear of being or becoming my best self. And I just feel like aging is a reminder of time lost. And it really, it really fucks with your mind, at least mine, because if I could turn the, if I could go backwards, I would. And I feel like if anybody says different, they are lying. <laughs> like when people say, I have no regrets. Really? Not one, none. You just made perfect choices your whole life. Everything was great. You never hurt anybody. You never did anything you regretted. Just no regrets, none at all everyone makes mistakes and if you had the opportunity to go back and right your wrongs and make different choices you would so when people say like no regrets yeah you live you live like you have no regrets but it doesn't mean that you're going to go through life without regrets like i just find that impossible and when people say that i'm just like girl please several regrets but that aside it inspires me to do better do more and just stop living in fear anyway so um my laptop broke I mean, the laptop still works, but I've had my laptop for 10 years. It's an HP Pavilion laptop, literally 10 years. 2014 is when I bought my laptop. So it's old, it's slow, but I was making it work until it wasn't. Like I couldn't even edit in. I use CapCut to edit my videos and I couldn't even edit. Like everything was pausing and everything was freezing everything was malfunctioning nothing was working so it was like it was working till it wasn't and even when it was working it was slow and i was just like no i'm like trying to be frugal i'm trying to save money i'm not trying to like spend all this money on tech and shit i'm just gonna make what i have work girl i had to do something finally they was like look just get a new fucking laptop because you can't be going through this. It's stressful. It's too much. Wasting time. Get a new laptop. So I'm like, all right, that's what I need to do. Let me budget for it. Let me just make sure because I don't want to get no cheap ass laptop that's giving me the same problems. I actually want like a really fast laptop, a gaming laptop. That's what I wanted. So she got a new laptop and it's the Legion, um, Lenovo Legion. And she's great. I call her Lily. She's holding your girl down. She is great. I just started playing around with editing and she is legit. Like literally apply edits as fast as I'm thinking them. And it is the best decision I made. I don't know why I waited three years. That's me getting in my own way, which is a reoccurring theme that I'm trying to abolish. Anyway, so um, yeah, laptop, kaput, got a new one. So when your girl got a new laptop, I'm like, okay, I need to transfer. I need to do a data transfer. I need to get, get all the information on the old computer to the new computer. Some of it I split up, put it on external hard drives just so I can start fresh and not bog up my new memory. So I was just like, okay, let me get to it. I get to it, right? Everything goes smoothly. Everything goes smoothly during this file transfer with the exception of five video files. These five video files made up my day in the life video and my living in Sacramento video. Those five video files, that's, that was all of that. that. That was all of that. So after I dropped the last montage when we went on vacation to Arizona, that's when I went to go ahead and, you know, get a new laptop. Actually, before that, I tried to start editing that content and shit was going wrong. So I dove into research trying to fix it and run this, this check and all that. I'm just trying to fix shit to get it to the point where I can edit again. Nothing was working. I even called tech, tech assist, paid the extra money to get things working. And they were like, oh, it's not a problem, blah, blah, blah. Nothing would work. Nothing would work. So obviously that led to me getting a new laptop. But when I went to tra transfer all the data, untransferable. Like I used an Ethernet cable. I tried a flash drive. I tried an offsite storage like Dropbox. I tried everything to get this footage save this footage it exists only on my old laptop i can do nothing with it because the editing software won't work i'm just literally looking at this footage playing it it's playing just fine everything's gucci but i can't get it to the new laptop to edit 
saying it. And I'm, I was, when I tell y'all I was fucking furious, like I was ready to be like, fuck this shit. I'm going back in the workforce. I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with edit. I'm done with all this shit. I'm done. I'm done. And then I thought about the nine to five and getting up and go, oh, girl, I was like, okay, you bitch, you won't have to figure it out because I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> I finally was like, all right, <laughs> gotta get a new computer. Anyway, it was a loss and it took me like, I spent like three weeks. I mean, there was other shit going on, but I spent like three weeks trying to, to save this footage very much like what I went through last year, but it was because of the files were corrupted. There's nothing wrong with these files. They just won't, it, it gives you that error, um, scan, uh, can't not scan, but can't read original disc file location or whatever the fuck. And I went through all the troubleshooting, like Google the hell out of it, went through all the troubleshooting, went through all of that call tech assist, went through all of that. Nothing would work. And I just said, fuck it, fuck it. I turned that computer off. I turned that laptop off, shut it, and just put it away and was like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm just going to have to start anew, so let's go because you very much need to go. You very much need to get over this and move the fuck on. And I have a hard time doing that, like, as a perfectionist, which is not a good thing. I don't think a lot of people realize that. Perfectionism is a curse, very much a curse, and while you can produce some great content it, it it just if things aren't perfect through your perspective um you will literally waste so much fucking time and throw your hands up when things don't go your way you can't like you feel like you're stalled like you can't pivot it's debilitating and it will stunt your creativity it will stunt your motivation your discipline it just trying to change. I'm literally trying to rewire my brain. I'm trying to rewire my mind to not do this anymore. And it is proven to be difficult. So anyway, I lost all my footage. So that's why we're starting fresh. So yeah, my dad was here. He was here for my 40th birthday. You guys will see that. We had a good time. We actually had all the plans. I planned to go to Tahoe because I absolutely love Tahoe. We go to Sam Harbor and um for those who don't know in california south lake tahoe is the largest alpine lake in the country and it's absolutely gorgeous it looks like a caribbean beach but it's a lake backed up against or in front of snow-capped mountains it's just stunning but the water is extremely cold so you always have to go like right at the peak of summer because that's the only way to be tolerable and my birthday is in the peak of summer so I was geeked. I'm so, I was like so excited. I want to do a hike and everything. Like I, I just, the idea of being near the water and uh, being, the idea of being at the water and hiking and just feeling good and just moving and just, that's what your girl loves. I love nature and I love being outdoors. Well, this year, Tahoe decided, fuck you. <laughs> Tahoe decided it's going to be cold. So, all the way, like I was checking the weather and checking the weather like two weeks out all the way up to like three days prior. Not only was it cloudy, it was like a high of 80, which is way too cold to get in that water. So I was like, really, really, really? That's what we're doing? Then Bay dislocated her toe at work, y'all. So that took hiking out of the equation which i was fucking pissed so no tahoe no hiking two last minute to be like oh and plus i didn't want to spend the money to be like oh let's just fly to mexico so my best friend was here um bay and we just literally made the best of it because my plans fell through for my 40th so it's already starting off wrong so i was like literally i cried i cried like a big ass baby brat went in my bed and shut the lights closed the door and cried like i was just i was so looking forward to going to tahoe guys like it's literally like one of my favorite spots but i was like fuck it we just gonna keep it local on stack and keep it cute and do something and just that's it so we were like go to the river that's what we ended up doing we ended up going to the river we went to the fair um we went out um, downtown and went to like a lounge that I haven't been in like 15 years crazy but 
we had a good time and y'all will see that coming up later on in this video. Um, but first, first, we're going to go back in time. <laughs> we're going to go way back, back into time. Not way back, where we're talking like two months ago, um, because the only footage I had left. And if you're a blogger, you know, no footage is being wasted. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I refuse to lose that. So I'm like, we just gonna have to like flip it back and forth, turn it around. We just gonna have to time travel, which I used to do in my earlier blogs, but I'm trying to get away with from that. I used to curate my content to where I was recording things that I was doing and then I put it together and you'd have like a fun interactive vlog. Oh, and then just spend some time talking. And I wanted to like get past that and film more real time and more real time. I mean, like no more than two weeks in the past when I'm dropping the video. Like I wanted to just be more real time. It's just what's more popular and I understand why. So girl, this, this right here, this is present. This is present. Well, by the time y'all see it, it will be two, three weeks old. Anyway, girl. Between the 4th of July, my dad coming for three weeks, the laptop issues, getting the new laptop, losing my footage and the transfer of files. And um, and then when we were out, I lost my bank card. Just a lot. Just, just a lot. But we had fun. We made it work. And it is what it is. Moving on. So here we are. 40 and fabulous, so to speak. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage from a couple months ago. Not not too much, but just a little something, something. Too much of a too much of a good memory for me to not share with y'all. So we're gonna go into warp speed and see you in the past. Let's go. Bye. Take it, bitch. Take it. Hey guys. <laughs> Say hey, mommy. Hi, baby. <laughs> Say hi to the kingpins. Hi, kingpins. <laughs> Watch out where you're going, child. Uh, we're smashing on the freeway. We're on the way to my niece's graduation. She's 18, and she's graduating high school at the Golden hi. One Center. So we are on our way, and hoping that we do not hit traffic on the way. So it's looking like. The traffic is flowing just ni nice right here, but who knows? Who knows when we get up there? I am so excited to see her walk the stage. I cannot believe she's 18. Yeah. I can't believe I'm about to be 40. I can't believe a lot of shit right now. <laughs> I mean, you. Anyway, um. So proud. So proud. So proud. It is hot as hell. It feels like it's triple digits and it's like 86 87 but we should be there in the next like 15 minutes but i'm hoping the parking garage isn't like full and we have to find other parking because that would suck but my brother has the tickets so we have to meet him out front or he has to meet us out front but I'm gonna try to get some footage when I'm in there. So I'm like, I'm just train my baby girl, walk the stage. She's going to college. I'm just so happy for her. So happy. And now he's got full mode to go. And the youngest one is about to be four years old. So got his hands full. Um, anyway, so we'll check in with you. We'll try to get some pictures and some footage and whatnot. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. Hungry in a motherfucker. Hey, mommy. Oh, don't you look so precious? You look so cruel. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the content that I refused to let go from two months ago. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> so that it's not wasted and I don't feel like a total fucking loser. I can't believe my niece is 18. Fucking wild. Anyway, now we're finna get into more recent things. Birthday shenanigans, which was so much fun. We had a good time. Um, it was just three days. Uh, three days of just local activities and just kind of just playing house. It was weird because I didn't grow up with my parents. So having them here in my apartment, staying here together and us waking up every day and eating breakfast and eating dinner and watching TV and um, going out and just doing activities and celebrating my birthday. And I just had a good time, even though it was regular degula shit, like here in SAC, like I just had a really good time spending it with the people I love the most. But yeah, I had a time, so let me show you. Yeah. Really? Like it's, this is some famous restaurant or something. Oh, they got you messed up, but that look good, Daddy. It does. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. My taste buds are gonna turn it into a, a hundred dollar taste. Okay, come on now. Yeah. Mm. So you like it? Mm. It's like sweet, spicy, and a little salty. I need a few more minutes. I guess we raw dogging it today. No filter. Living on the wild side. <laughs> hey. Say hey to the vlog. Hey. <laughs> I, I look, look at the show. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> Sausage dog. Mm. It's a hot dog. I just don't know if it's a. Aren't, aren't regular hot dogs beef franks? Or are they pork? Frank. Sometimes it might have sure. to be. Mm. That's all the fries I got. I got friends. Yeah. Mm. I can't do it. <laughs> it's just really good breading. And it's like the right proportion. Nothing like this safe fair corn dog. Mm. We got the best one you could get. That feels good, huh?
What up, King Pams? Oh, do you want to drive me? <laughs> Nobody's looking at you. <laughs> hey, King Pams. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the crew. I'm here with my mama. Say hi, mommy. Hi. Happy birthday, My birthday tomorrow, y'all. My birthday is tomorrow. Today's the 13th. Of course, we had a little talky talk and now we're headed to the club to party and eat because I'm hungry. Your girl is hungry. Wait, so which way are we going? Where, where is it at? We don't know. You are supposed to know. Girl, I don't know. I ain't been here in 15 years. We're going to the mix. I think it's this way. Oh my gosh. Look at my family. Hey. 
It says I'm so excited. I'm happy now. For how long? I got my bunion cushions on, so I'm good. I'm real good. And it's been a minute since you girl been out, so I'm real excited. Anyway, you guys, I'm turning 40 tomorrow. And as happy as I am about it, tomorrow I'll be crying. There's Bay. Say hey to the kingpins. Hi, kingpin. <laughs> okay. I'll check back in with you guys when we sit down. Okay. <laughs> these I know these right. bunion pads is wearing off. Okay. It's time to eat. Now they now they want to put too short back on. Oh. <laughs> that club was that club was real international, real real top forty, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aww. see. Oh, yeah, see. Jimmy, mm -hmm. oh. Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. Bye. Lipstick. Anyway. She over here talking about putting lipstick on. <laughs> or clear lipstick or something. I had gloss on. Put a shine on it, Ray. Put a shine. I know you ain't talking about them dusty cherry lips. <laughs> They're not dusty. They're cherry. There is a hair in my hey, eye, and it's driving me crazy. I want, want to eat with. I want some spaghetti. The golden. Where are you going to the moon? Are going to the moon? What's taking this elevator? We're going to. Did you press? What, where we what is wrong? What, where we Ain't going? nobody pressed that button. Where we going? Those. We're on level two. You no, know what? That's one. We're on level one. We're going to. Oh. Um, they're all two. tweetered. Uh, We're going to Golden Bear. They have like the best food. They have the best. Best food? What? It's really good. What kind of food? It's just really good quality. What kind of food? All kind of food. Uh, all kinds. Yeah. Shit, I want some breakfast. I'm still sweating. I want some spaghetti. Yo, this is California. Oh, I'm still sweating. Nobody pushed the button. It's hot. Y'all, the way I'm about to eat. Man. When I tell y'all I'm about to eat. So we went, oh, pfft, we're at Stones. We're in Citricides. We went to Golden Bear. We went to the Golden Bear in downtown Sac, and it's, they pretty much turn it into a bar at night, but there's no food. Who knew? Anyway, so we're at Stones. We're about to grub. But I feel like it's gonna take forever to get the food because we ain't even got drinks yet. Damn, huh? No way. No. It wasn't. They didn't always have a combo. Yeah. No. no. They've changed a lot, actually. Before it used to just be my toast. Yeah. Right. I'm not lying. Do they still have the um avocado toast? Yeah, they do. 
With all that arugula? Mm hmm Ugh. Yeah. So good. Now that we're 40. Relax. We're 40. And it was the year 2000. I'm getting the duck tacos. And I'm getting the salt and pepper wings. It's happening. <laughs> It's my mama and my daddy. My mama and my daddy. Oh, you about to get our grub on? Thank you. It's tomorrow, y'all. And I was born at night, so it's tomorrow night. Anyway, she was born at midnight. Since she was born at midnight, then midnight. It was like, wasn't it like 11 p.m. Midnight. You will be 40 years. No, I won't, cause I was born at night on a Saturday. It's on the birth certificate. So at midnight, I'm still 39. Relax. <laughs> okay. I don't know when I'm going to see y'all. Okay, we just get water. But I'll check back in with you guys when I see you, which is probably going to be tomorrow. Viking pen. crazy life has been crazy life is just one hell of a ride y'all and to all my young ones out there when you get on the other side when you get on the other side of 40 you'll understand what I'm talking about like 40 like and you always get I get to each age and I'm just like how the fuck did I get here like how did this time go by so fucking fast like where have I been what have I been doing and I just feel so 
under accomplished and with so much more to do. So for that reason, I'm so excited for the future, especially since I decided to turn my life upside down halfway through my 30s. And you know, you're not your age, you're your vibe, you're your energy. And I'm going to just keep telling myself that all the way till, you know, 100 years old. <laughs> I don't care how great your life is, how abundant it may be. The older you get, the more you realize that you're losing time. Time just moves faster the older you get. I felt like my 20s were long and it's because it's a, it's, it's a state of mind, it is. I spent most of my youth trying to be grown for several reasons, but I, <laughs> the fact is I spent most of my youth trying to be grown and once I got to the grown part, to adulthood, which we know is the worst hood of them all, I realized that all I ever wanted to do was turn the clock backwards and exist in a time where the hype of your worries was homework. Y'all yeah. remember the playroom? Because I do, vividly, and I would love to go back to that bitch. Like, I spent so much of my youth trying to be grown, and I would give anything, I would give anything to go back. Just as long as I, as long as I'm at bay, as long as... Bay still came in rotation in my life and I'm at the love of my life. Girl, I would go back in a heartbeat if I had that assurance because I love her. I love her. Period. Anyway, y'all, I'm just rambling at this point. I just haven't talked to you guys in so long. Like, I am so excited that I got in front of the camera because, you know, I struggle. I struggle. I struggle. I struggle. Just going from being a regular degular person, private, no social media to just fuck my life. I'm going to become a social media influencer. I'm going to be a YouTube lifestyle vlogger. Blah, like just, I just did not anticipate the way it was going to affect me and send my perfectionism into fucking overdrive and just, ah, I'm going to figure this out. Let me just speak positivity into my life because I'm not going to try. I am. I am going to deliver and grow this platform, grow our relationship, get to know one another and just kick it with my kingpins because you guys are the reason that I will be successful in this endeavor, this 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 new life of mine. And if I don't show up for you guys, you're not going to show up for me. So I have to reflect and plan and just figure out what that means for me and how that, how, how being productive and consistent in this business looks for me. And period point blank, it starts with abolishing my need to be or feel perfect, look perfect, feel perfect and avoid judgment at all costs. Like you are who you are and nobody knows everything. Nobody has experienced everything. And just be open to learning and not feel shame maybe when there's something that you don't know or understand or a perspective you don't get. Like we do very much live in a cancel culture. So I find myself like monitoring what it is that I'm saying. And I just don't want to live like that. I mean, yeah, you want to think before you speak, but monitor, like actually like censor myself and my personality that I would give anybody real time in real life. It's just, it's fake. And I don't want to be that blogger. I want to be transparent and candid. I mean, I'm not going to share everything because that's crazy and there are crazy people. So you're not going to get everything, especially the real personal shit. I'm sorry. That's for me. But for the most part, y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get this life. Y'all going to get this life and what it comes with. And you know what I can't wait for? Girl, I cannot wait to move. Like, I know how I've said this a thousand times, but I cannot wait to move. Not only for better lighting, but just for a new experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching See Me This How You Haven't Gotten a Video in Two Months. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Y'all gonna think this Kool-Aid. This is not Kool-Aid. Electrolytes. This is how I hydrate myself, like when I'm done working out or, you know, if I haven't drank enough water in the day or if I go to the sauna or just in the sun, period. You drink one of these, you're going to stay hydrated. So not Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till this relaxer grows out because 
this Virgo Fraggle shit is killing me softly. Like, I can't take it anymore. But the new growth is looking good. It's looking nice and healthy. You know? It's staying moisturized. Very much moisturized. Oh my god. I need some chapstick. Her rusty lip syndrome. Girl. I'm going to end the video here and leave you with what somebody else said because I didn't say it. It's just incredibly relevant to how I feel and just my whole vibe right now, given that she's 40 now. <laughs> anyway, yesterday is the past, so get over it. I'm literally speaking to you myself. I'm speaking to y'all and I'm speaking to myself. Get it together. Yesterday is the past. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. Learn how to live in the now. Learn how to live in the now. Because now is all we have. And once that's gone, it's in the past. We have to zone in on the now. That is how you curate the most wonderful experiences and you take nothing for granted. You live in the now. Because the fact of the matter is, things can always and often do get worse. So, if you will learn to appreciate today, you won't have to worry about tomorrow. Because anything that is for you will be there waiting. Oh my god, I've missed you so much. I've missed, it's like a, it's like a therapy session. I literally feel like I'm talking to my friends. Like I'm talking to my friends. You guys are my friends in my head. And I hope I'm your friend in your head. And it's like a therapy session like talking to you guys and talking things out I literally feel like I'm spending time with a group of friends thanks for spending some time with your girl and I will see y'all real soon real real soon not two months maybe two weeks but I will see y'all real real soon hit your girl up comment let's talk I know it seems weird talking to a perfect stranger but I'm down y'all down I'm down let's talk about it <laughs> drop a comment give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed your stay here share this video, subscribe, all of that. I will see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Love you. Bye guys. Bye Kingpins. Sacramento. <laughs> Sacramento, where you at? <sighs> yeah. Throw it up, y'all. Throw it up. Throw it up. I can't see ya. California. Oh. Oh. Let's show these fools how we do it on this west side. Because you and I know it's the best side.